Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another Answer and Dimensions Reality Update video, episode 46, and I just did a little bit of achievement hunting um, between the, the last episode and this episode, just like the one, the easier ones at this point, and 2 million infinities is pretty important, so I am getting that, definitely, and I guess we're just, we're just gonna progress at this point, because, well, time studies, I already have 14 time theorems, it's enough to get, well... I can already go to 61, which is crazy. And it's going to allow me to get E3 eternity points. I probably, I, I don't even need to, I don't need to go into time dimensions again. I, I can just, I can just stay here, which is pretty insane. I can probably, I can also start getting more time theorems. I still have to, I should probably, I should probably make my auto, auto buyer or something like X times highest infinity points, maybe E50, something like that, and this will have things mostly automated at this point. I mean, more automated than they ever have been because of the telemechanical process. And the other re reality upgrade, this is just a little bit better, this is just a little bit better. Um, the boundless flow does help a little bit, and um, I mean, this is already kind of past its prime, and this upgrade is, well, it's just giving me another glyph slot, which is just gonna, it just helps in general. It kind of gives a slight boost to basically the entire game. So, that's pretty cool. It seems like I'm already hitting a slower spot. I mean, maybe it's because I don't have as many eternities as I would have had, but it's still, it's still... Calling this slow would be um, ridiculous because this is still faster than it ever has been at this point in the game, just because of how how overpowered all of my perks and upgrades are, and and glyphs because I yeah four glyphs is pretty nice. So it looks like I have just enough to get to time study one hundred one. Which helps a little bit. Not the most overpowered thing ever, but I can just keep getting eternity points. I'm now up to six time theorems. One more time theorem, and I'll be able to go with the infinity dimension path here. And looking at Replicanti, it's about. I'm getting about like seven, eight ish replicated galaxies per second. This is without the you gain Replicanti three times faster upgrade. And yeah, we're just gonna do this. Um, go down here, go with the infinity dimension path, and now things are gonna start being even faster than they were before. I feel like maybe it's because I don't have Yo Dog. Um, I heard you like infinities. Maybe that's what's kind of slowing me down a little bit. I can get I can get this one. Um, I can. I can probably get some. Oh, I, I can't really get these because of my of like the boundless flow, which you can't really disable. So I I do have to let the auto achievements cover those. So now I have enough time theorems here to go with the anti dimension path and get um, time study one eleven. And it's pretty. This is pretty good. But when I'm when I'm able to get like 121, 122, or 123, that's when it's going to get a lot better at this point. Because this just helps me get more infinity points. This is this is kind of a slowish spot of the game at this particular point. But once once I start getting like these, like the game the game gets a lot faster. So I'm up to E1460 infinity points, probably close to E1500, and this this allows me to get probably another EP uh, multiplier. Actually, the problem is it prioritizes time dimensions over the EP multiplier, which is kind of it's kind of lame because like you you would think that you know they would have got their automation down. New game plus 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 is dilation automation. Ha um, uses the optimal strategy, but nope, this has to use whatever strategy this is. I could just do this, go with slightly shorter eternity runs. I don't think that's the best idea, though. 
So it looks like I can get about E6 attorney points, and I still didn't get the EP multiplier. Oh my god. What is going on? Uh, maybe, I, maybe I should actually disable some of my automation here. Well, it, okay, just get enough to get the one EP multiplier, which can't be that hard because all of these are actually more expensive. And these, these time, dim time dimensions things kind of suck at this point. So just get maybe one E6 attorney points and that will, that will do it. Five times attorney point multiplier from here. So I'm trying to push a little bit farther this time. This allows me to get a couple additional time theorems and enough to get E7 attorney points, but they're all they're all just spent so quickly, and I can't really do anything other than I guess just get this and maybe you gain replicanti three times faster. One more time theorem, and I'll be able to be I'll be able to go down the infinity dimension path and still get 111. So I guess that's what I'm gonna go for. This. Having the replicanti be faster is pretty nice because it literally takes under a second to get to the <laughs> get to max replicated galaxies, which is kind of crazy at this point. It's like my replicanti speed. Do I, is this part of the statistics? It isn't, which is kind of lame. But basically, I think it's like two, three times. It's like basically three, three times multipliers. And like no nerf, so yeah, this is this is pretty crazy. I can get e7 eternity points again. I can also get on one additional time theorem just from antimatter, and this means that actually I have I have just enough time theorems to get one of the eternity point multipliers. So that I guess I'm gonna do that. Wait, no, no, not in, not the infinity dimension path. If I can't remember what I'm supposed to do, I could go with the active path but i'm just gonna go with the idle because i'm lazy so with this i can get all the way up to e8 attorney points it's enough for another attorney point multiplier and enough for time by time theorems which means i can get replicanti are 10 times slower uh, but they're stronger and this okay the replicated galaxies does actually kind of suck at this point but once i start getting more time theorems that uh, that's not going to be much of an issue, like, especially if I get like you gain your Epilogonti three times faster. Like it's it's just going to become really good. I could at this point go um switch over to active because I don't, I'm I am kind of active right now. I'm not I I I can hold R if I really want to. So I guess I'm just going to do that. I'm going to get a few more time theorems here. It's not very much, but whatever. Every Every little bit counts at this point. And th also, this is why uh, something like time study... Or not time study, the... Oh my god, can I remember what I was going to say? Oh yeah, the, the TT per hour glyph. I'm only, like, I don't even know. Um, 23 minutes into this reality. So, this means with even, like, one time theorem per hour, which is, like, the highest I really am seeing... I would have gotten exactly zero time theorems, so that that's why that glyph effect is just so bad. So now it looks like I my eternities are capped, and I can start. I might actually get a few eternity points from that, which is interesting. And now I just hold R, and maybe I should change this automation to E100 because it's kind of it's it's a lot of infinities. And it's probably probably faster just to do it this way. And with this, I can hopefully I can get E9 eternity points from eternity, but what's gonna be even better is all the time theorems I'm gonna get. Just two more time theorems gets me a nice infinity point multiplier. So that's what I'm going to go for. 1750, and I'll be able to easily get the antimatter. This could be this, and then I think at this point, this is where I start. I, I want to start doing all this with the infinity dimension path rather than the antimatter dimension path. So, all of this you can see just how powerful the active idle time studies are because they basically they take they took me from like e6 to e10 
eternity points. So I'm actually going to go down the idle, or not the idle, the infinity dimension path already, knowing that that, that means I won't, I won't get 141, but that's okay at this point, because that's just a little infinity point multiplier versus like all the more powerful boosts I get from the infinity dimension path and the time dimension boosts from eternity points. And you can see this is up to E16 because I'm already up to 23,000 eternities. So that's pretty nice. And I can start getting time theorems already, so I can I can still get the infinity point multiplier. So yeah, I don't even need to be skipping out on it. And now I just go for like 151, 161, and then eventually 171. And this shouldn't be too bad because I um yeah, I can get I can already get 151. And this gets me this this gets me infinite time right off the bat, which is pretty nice. Um, the the achievement reward is you know OP in New Game Plus Plus Plus. It isn't very overpowered at this point, but it it's at least something. So now I'm already up to seven time theorems, which gets me 161 right here, and I can probably get 162 very soon. Um, I also got another eternity point multiplier and a few more time studies. It's not really anything that great yet. I'm noticing all the replicated galaxies, they're actually resetting my dimension boost, which is why the infinities take a little bit of time. So I'm going to want to get Yodog, uh, I heard you liked infinities, soon. But at this point, I can just use stopgap measures like 62 and 33, and this will make it significantly quicker. Like, I am now getting what? Like, I, I it's so fast I literally can't even read it. Like, 40-something replicated galaxies per second which is kind of crazy at this point of the game. And I don't have enough time theorems to actually get 162, so I am going to... Well, first of all, I can get this, which isn't very good, but whatever, it's at least something. And then eventually I'll be able to get more time theorems. I can maybe get 171 next eternity, which is crazy. I kind of want to just hit E2900 infinity points first, and then I can probably eternity... E13 eternity points and yeah, respect time studies. So now it I did not get the EP mole. I can get a few more time theorems, not that many. And I'm gonna I'm gonna start going down the time dimension path at this point. I also am using suboptimal strats for 121. And I'm still able to get very far with this. I'm just gonna get 161 and 162 for now and just get these two. And then get get 121 to 50, so I can really get all of the, just all the eternity points I can possibly get here. And you can just, yeah, well, I was going to say you can just see how fast this is, but I'm really, it does take a little bit. And that is something I do really want, like eventually I'm going to want to start going for something like this. I, I see myself getting this, like, just after the automator. And then I feel like I'm going to go for stuff like dilation automation or stuff like uh, makes the infinity dimensions autobiars work three times faster because those... Because it really starts to feel slow. So, yeah, that's just stuff like this. This is also really useful perk because it basically skips eternity challenge 11 but i want the automator first i think so I, i'm probably just going to eternity at this point and this will give me this still doesn't give me the five times eternity point multiplier which is pretty disappointing here and i'm now going just for 171 because it's very good and i'm trying to get 121 better I still actually can't get 171, but there still is a trick up my sleeve that I can do at this point. Um, I can't actually cat 121, which is really stupid, but there still is a trick up my sleeve, and that is the black hole, because it is 15 seconds from activating. So hopefully this will just give me a little boost and get me through. So let, let's see. 3, 2, 1... And boom, black holes activated. Things are 
faster, I think, except those auto buyers because those auto buyers are kind of crappy, but whatever, it's it's still kind of nice to see, and the black hole has stopped. I've gotten some achievements as well, just cleaning up some of the ones in the earlier rows. Not really all that good, but whatever. So I think at this point, I'm actually, hopefully, <laughs> going to get the... Well, actually, I'm just going to get time to it this way. And yeah, now I've gotten the Eternity Point Multiplier. Now I can finally go with Time Study 171. And hopefully also cap 121. I only literally have one time theorem. I have just enough time theorems for this. And yeah, now I can cap 121. Now here's where I'm going to get crazy amounts of eternity points. I can also get a few more time theorems this way. I probably want to just go for 162 um, immediately. I can probably get that. So I'm up to E3200. Infinity points, that is that is in fact enough for time study 162. And it's actually just, just gonna keep keep letting me progress further. I can get you gain replicante three times faster, just clean up the rest of the study tree. And um I can probably I can probably get this. I kinda wanna also I wanna get this to just make the infinity point gain a little bit faster, and you can see I can gain E16 eternity points, which is kind of crazy for this part of the game. I'm probably just going to, yeah, get the eternity points. Um, cap study 121 again. Get the rest of the time theorems, which is just enough to get to basically max out the study tree at this point. And um, we have cap so time study 121, and then we just keep going. I think what I want to do now is I want to do... Um, 2e308 to try to get the yo dog achievements so we're doing that i time study 121 is still capped which is nice but unfortunately yo dog looks just out of reach i'm i've done eight runs but i can't do the ninth so i'm just gonna keep going like this hopefully i'll just get more eternity points i also i'll i'm getting pretty close to 100,000 eternities so that's that's gonna be pretty nice to get once i actually have that eventually well eventually i'm going to be able to actually get your achievement bonus effects time dimensions which isn't the strongest because the achievements just take a long time to to re recoup themselves and yeah i don't really need unspent time theorems because this is e40 turning point so that means eu2 could be a pretty good upgrade i might need to start just doing some eternity challenges but i need time theorems for those so Let's get up to E3900 infinity points. This is enough for a few more time theorems. Nothing crazy. And let's eternity. Get this. And then, well, cap, cap study 121. And it looks like this time I can do the ninth run barely, but the tenth run, I don't know how I'm supposed to do that. I am still many, many, many orders of magnitude away. To get the tenth upgrade, even with these achievements that I'm automatically unlocking, like this, this completes an entire row of achievements. But even that isn't good. Is there any like really good rewards here that I'm missing? No, I'm I'm not missing any any good rewards at this point. Maybe except this one. This one's pretty good, especially since infinities are plentiful with the boundless flow. But we're not there yet. So I can get E19 Eternity Points, um, get the Eternity Point Multiplier, and I'm going to go for the Yo Dog achievement just one more time here. Yeah, it's still out of reach, unfortunately. It really sucks because it is slowing down my runs, but that's okay. Next episode, I'm just going to conquer the challenges. They're, good. They're not going to be challenges at all. And yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out. Mm -hmm.